What if humans became as big as dinosaurs? Could the consequences be as astronomical as the asteroid that wiped out these prehistoric beasts? Would it be a world-ending event? Even though we think of dinosaurs as huge, killer monsters, many of them were quite small, like the Microraptor. This guy is the smallest known dinosaur. He, he was, was found in China about 125 million years ago. Chase, hey, I'm talking. You're just demonstrating. Oh, right, 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 okay. This dino, oh, sorry, <laughs> right, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. This dinosaur was only 30 centimeters tall and weighed less than a kilogram, making it the same size as a Subway sandwich or a two liter soda. The Microraptor would have been the perfect lunch. It had wings with a similar soaring mechanism to a flying squirrel, but it couldn't actually fly. It could glide and snatch insects out of midair. Now, if all humans shrunk to the same height as this cute little beast, we'd be 18% of our current size. Too small to reach a door handle and too big to crawl through a crack. You'd basically be trapped in your house until someone came to rescue you. And seeing as no emergency service workers would be able to drive their cars or operate any machinery at this size, your best chance of rescue would probably be by three people stacked in a trench coat. Okay, let's say you left your house and went for a casual stroll down the sidewalk. Well, look out, at this size, you're at the bottom of the food chain, pal. Those city pigeons, dangerous. And the rats and cockroaches you were already afraid of when you were normal sized, uh, now they're your number one predators. Battling a rat now would be the equivalent of battling a tiger. Your odds would not be good. But if humans had wings like the Microraptor, we'd be able to soar through the air and evade our new predators. However, with our body composition and our bone density, we'd likely shatter an ankle or two every time we landed. So that wouldn't be much fun. On the plus side, we'd eat way less, although not as little as you might think. Even though your body would be around 80% smaller, you'd still have to eat 35% of the calories you need today. That's because, according to Kleiber's law, your metabolic rate slows down as your body becomes smaller. That means your small body would need proportionally more energy per kilogram to maintain your basic physiological processes. You'd need to constantly be snacking, which, honestly, I don't know if I could snack any more constantly than I already do right now. The same with this guy, Chase. Mm. Hi, sorry, <laughs> didn't know you'd be back so soon. <laughs> okay, so humans being the size of micro raptors would be pretty inconvenient, but not necessarily disastrous. Let's upgrade ourselves a little bit. Hey, speaking of upgrades, let me tell you about upgrading your web browsing. This is Aria, Opera's built-in AI feature that helps you research, organize, and create without ever leaving your browser. Need info quickly? Well, hit Control slash to open the command line. Ask it anything, right on the same page. No need to open new tabs or lose your focus. You know, I always end up with way too many YouTube tabs open, but with Aria, I just type close my YouTube tabs or group my YouTube tabs and boom, instant organization. With tab commands, Aria can pin, save, close, or group your tabs based on what you need. So your browser stays clean and chaos free. Then there's Tab Islands, a smarter way to organize your tabs by topic. I group all my research on one island and then collapse it when I'm done and I move on to the next task. Total game changer. For things to be even better, I can have two tabs opened at the same time thanks to the split screen feature. It's really useful when I want to compare the data. Besides the command line and the sidebar, 
I can now start a new conversation with Aria in a new tab with the full tab view, a new writing mode to help you write any sort of text, even fill in text input fields, and multimodal answers that enhance results with links and carousel style pictures. Perfect for when I'm looking for new recipes. So are you ready to upgrade your browsing experience? Well, click on the link in the description and try Opera with Aria today. Now, let's see how you would look if you were the size of a bigger dinosaur with a very original name. The Utah Raptor was found in, get this, Utah. They really need to get more creative with these names. This dinosaur stood 1.8 meters high and was the inspiration for Jurassic Park's Velociraptors. Actual velociraptors are only as tall as a turkey, which, you know, doesn't read well on screen. If all humans became the size of a Utah raptor, well, not much would change, except that men could stop finally lying on their dating profiles. Just by the way, I've never lied about that. I'm 6'2", and that's 1.88 meters for my metric girlies. Uh, yeah. Sure, Chase. The Utah Raptor is six feet flat, and it looks like you're missing a few inches. Fine, fine, whatever, okay, I'm 5'11-ish. Uh, you're still lying. But once we became the size of a Utah Raptor, well, no one will be 5'11 anymore. Why would I care? Overall, we'll be healthier, as scientists have discovered that taller people have lower chances of cardiovascular illnesses, but only up to a point. If humans suddenly became as big as one of the larger dinosaurs, like the Triceratops, we'd be shooting up to 2.8 meters tall. Sure, you'd be able to reach any shelf at the grocery store, but your heart would be struggling to pump enough blood to all parts of your body. And your legs and lower back will be holding up about 130 additional kilograms, so you'd have constant joint pain. You'd still be able to fit into your home, although you'd be smashing your head into plenty more door frames. At that height, you'd be better off losing your bipedalism and start walking on all fours or crawling on the ground baby style. Now, obviously, you're wondering what would happen if we grew to be as big as the biggest, baddest dinosaur of them all, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This terrifying monster stood 3.7 meters high a lethal killing machine. If humans were that tall, we'd hardly be lethal. In fact, we'd be quite the opposite. There's not an easy way to say this, so here it is. At the size of a T-Rex, we'd be very dumb. Yeah, if you didn't think it was possible for people to be dumber, then you, uh, you think, think, um, do you, Think brain, think of it again. Your brain would grow proportionally to your body. That means the electrical signals in your brain would need to travel a longer distance while the speed of those signals would stay the same. Basically, your reaction time would be two times slower than it is now. So it's pretty hard to be a deadly predator when your brain is processing while your prey is already running away. And remember all those joint issues you had at 2.8 meters? Well, at 3.7 meters tall, you'd need leg braces and walking canes. And you might be in so much pain that you'd need to use a wheelchair to move around. The only positive here is that your throat cavity would increase and make your voice deeper. That's right. We don't have the sweet, relaxing tones of Morgan Freeman. And your what-if narration would be so much better. Almost makes the joint pain worth it. Okay, let's kick it up a few notches, because the T-Rex wasn't the largest dinosaur out there, not even close. The absolute tallest known dinosaur was the Sauroposeidon. Just like his namesake, the Greek god of the ocean, this dinosaur could shake the earth with just one big footstep. 
Uh, we may have a problem here. Um, <laughs> this thing doesn't fit on the screen. <laughs> it is pretty big. The Soro Poseidon was so big that when scientists first discovered its fossil, they thought it was a petrified tree trunk. I mean, with a height of 18 meters, that's a pretty understandable mistake. I mean, the neck alone accounts for over half its height. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Yes, please, just keep demonstrating. Fine. Oh well, there goes Chase. So sad. Where were we? All right, if humans became as tall as the Soro Poseidon, the world would see infinitely more destruction than the T-Rex-sized humans could ever dream to cause. Imagine eight billion people suddenly becoming 10 times our size. Uh, we'd rip through our cars and crash straight through ceilings. And that's if every skyscraper wasn't already crumbling from structural damage because every single one of us would weigh over 80,000 kilograms. No building foundation is built to accommodate that kind of weight. If you live in an urban area, Good luck. Either your head is busting through your apartment ceiling, or your building is collapsing beneath you. Suburbanites wouldn't have it much better. Sure, you won't be crushed by a falling skyscraper or one of the dozens of tenants above you, but your musculoskeletal system wouldn't be equipped to carry your own weight. I mean, unless you're already lifting ten times your body weight. Even the strongest bodybuilders wouldn't be able to stand up. And if that's not enough, your heart wouldn't be strong enough to counteract gravity and would stop pumping blood to your brain. That's right, you're looking at immediate brain failure and imminent death. Evolution made us pretty perfect, so the next time you're feeling insecure about your height, well, just be grateful that you're not 18 meters tall. And Chase? Well, he shouldn't have stood too close to the largest dinosaur in the history of dinosaurs. Oh. But don't worry about him. He'll respawn somewhere and be all ready for his next adventure. Maybe an adventure that includes burgers and the moon. Well, that's a story for another What If.